Dozens of cyclists brought the traffic to a halt in central London earlier as they took part in a rally to get more space on the capital's streets. Campaigners want local councils to improve their streets so all Londoners, including children and the elderly, can cycle safely. G McKenzie has more. On some of London's busiest roads this afternoon, it was cyclists only, and it brought those who don't normally brave the traffic out to play. While they can't expect this sort of space in London, they want more than they've currently got. I kind of go quite a long way round to use cycle lanes to get to work because I'm determined to cycle, but it should be a lot easier. You get a lot of cyclists cutting in and out of cars and that's where a lot of the accidents happen, but when there's just so many cars, there just isn't space. I think it's worse than Paris, where I come from. Um, I think uh, drivers are pretty harsh on cyclists and I really have to be super caref careful. Five cyclists have died this year in London. On Tuesday, Abdel Kalak Liani was killed in a crash with an HGV at Elephant and Castle. The campaigners here say such deaths could be avoided if more segregated cycle lanes were built and cycling infrastructure was improved. It's local authorities which own the vast majority of London's streets, so the timing of this here today is significant ahead of the local elections on Thursday. It's really a plea to those politicians to get on board and help redesign their streets. So while the mayor says he's spending millions on cycling infrastructure, today was about ordinary Londoners being able to cycle safely around their neighbourhoods. The street outside your house is probably controlled by your politicians. Um, if they want to create protected space or they want to uh, reduce the amount of motor traffic, they've got that in their power. You should tell them to do it. Many here were parents. Their hope? To be able to cycle with their children on London's roads, not just when they're closed. Jean McKenzie, BBC London News.